So, a Variety article came out tonight that confirmed that Star Trek Strange New Worlds has been renewed for a fourth season, and Star Trek Lower Decks is ending with its fifth season. Its fifth season is going to be airing the, this fall, so probably around September, October, I think. We don't have fall in Ireland, so I think fall for America is like, what, like September, October? So about then is when the fifth season is going to air, which is around when season four aired. The first three seasons aired in the summer months, so yeah, it should be a little bit later than it usually airs, unless it starts in like middle September, which I think is when season four ended. I'm not scripting this video, so it might be a little all over the place. But I kind of want to talk about this because it's kind of interesting to look at, especially the Lower Deck situation, just in terms of Star Trek on TV, because it's it's a little weird what they've talked about here in terms of Lower Decks. Now, I'm not going to talk about the Stranger World Season 4 renewal that much. Season 3 is currently in production. I think they're like halfway through it at the moment, and we'll probably be seeing Season 3 next year. So we'll probably see Season 6 maybe in 2026 if we're lucky. Could be 2027, though, based off of the fact that we have a break this year with no Stranger World. So there might be Stranger Worlds next year and then another year break before we see the fourth season which that would be a little bit unfortunate but there's not really too much to say about Stranger Worlds kind of a no-brainer move it was renewed I know that certain parts of the fandom don't really like Stranger Worlds a lot to me anyway I feel like Stranger Worlds really does kind of embody that feeling of 90s Trek and of the episodic nature of the original series as well in terms of the stories it tells I don't know I just I really like the show I think it's one of the best things to come out of current Trek I think the cast is great I think the characters are great we also got confirmed that Scotty is going to be a recurring character in season three based off of I think BBC Scotland interviewed him and he talked about it on there the actor who plays Scotty so that's pretty cool but I'm not going to talk about Stranger World season four too much because again there's not a whole lot to say it's just it's a it's a popular show it's doing well for Paramount, no reason why they wouldn't renew it. But the reason why the Lower Decks ending is kind of unusual here is because every article is that it's ending, kind of all the, the quotes we were looking at here says it's ending and stuff like that as well. But it feels like this was definitely more of a Paramount situation pushed onto Lower Decks than them wanting to end it. Now, I absolutely hate when places say that a show was cancelled when it wasn't cancelled, like... They always did this with the Arrowverse shows. When Arrow, Supergirl, Flash all were ending, every article and every video under the sun were titled Arrow cancelled, Supergirl cancelled, even though it was very, very clear that they were not cancelled. In the case of Arrow and Supergirl, Arrow ended because Stephen Amell wanted to leave, Supergirl ended because Melissa Benoist wanted to leave. It was not a cancellation. They gave them final seasons that were planned as endings. The shows ended where they were supposed to end. But articles, YouTubers... They love to run with the angle that these shows were cancelled when that was not the case. Now, some of them were cancelled. Batwoman and Legends of Tomorrow were cancelled. Arrow and Supergirl were not. They ended because they were meant to end. Lower Decks, I'm not sure on it. It seems like Paramount is giving it a final season. Like, one of the main things here is Jack Quaid's Instagram post, where he says, Hello, Lower Deckers. I'm so sad to announce that Paramount Plus won't be moving forward with more seasons of Lower Decks. Now, the third that he says, Paramount Plus won't be moving forward. I can't begin to tell you what an honour it's been to be a part of this show and the Star Trek universe at large. I'm unbelievably grateful for five awesome seasons with this wonderful family. I want to thank each and every person who puts so much of their hard work and talent in every episode. You are amazing. The good news is that everyone who makes Lower Decks loves making Lower Decks. I could play Boimler for 17 more seasons. No joke, I'm serious. I love that purple-haired nerd. Hopefully we find a new home, but until then, please look forward to an amazing season 5 airing this fall. Live long and prosper. So, yeah, I mean, a couple things there that immediately jump out. He says that hopefully we find a new home and Paramount will not be moving forward of the fifth season. Both of those things don't sound to me like this was Mike McMahon or Alex Kurtzman or anyone involved in the show, at least that we know of, that it was their decision to end this. And we also have a quote from this from Alex and from Mike themselves where they say, we want to let you know that this fall will be the fifth and final season of Star Trek Lower Decks. While five seasons of any series these days seems like a miracle, it's no exaggeration to say that every second we've spent making this show has been a dream come true. Our incredible cast, crew, and artists have given you everything they have because they love the characters they play. They love the world we've built, and more than anything, we love, love, love Star Trek. We're excited for the world to see our hilarious fifth season, which we're working on right now, and the good news is that all previous episodes will remain on Paramount Plus, so where there still is so much to look forward to as we celebrate the Cerritos crew, with a big send-off. Finally, thank you for always being so creative and joyful, fulfilling convention halls and chanting Lower Decks. We remain hopeful that even beyond Season 5, Mariner, Boimler, Tendi, Rutherford, and the whole Cerritos crew will live on with new adventures. Live long and prosper, Mike McMahon and Alex Kurtzman. So, not a whole lot to get from this. Not, it doesn't feel like it, it kind of says as much as Jack Quaid's quote does, but one thing to draw from here, I guess, is that they are assuring fans that the, the seasons will remain on Paramount+. Plus. So this isn't a Star Trek Prodigy situation where the show got cancelled and then they wiped Prodigy from Paramount because I don't know why. I don't know if it was Dax reasons or because Netflix was getting it. But 
they're, I guess they're assuring fans that Lower Decks is going to stay on Paramount and not be moved to another streaming service or not be wiped from the streaming service, which that is good. But I think that the fact he's assuring fans of this there also speaks to the fact that maybe this wasn't their decision to end the show with the fifth season. Now, the Star Trek Discovery is also ending with its fifth season that is currently airing at the moment. And Star Trek Discovery, also while not officially cancelled, seems to have been ended without the input of the crew and the cast based off of the fact that they had already filmed the entire season when they found out that the fifth season would be their last and then they got to go back and film a new ending. But for all intents and purposes, the story they wanted to tell wasn't going to be the story they're telling at the moment. Like the, the fifth season of Star Trek Discovery arc was not going to be what they wanted their final season arc to be. Like there would have been a sixth, maybe seventh season of Star Trek Discovery if they had had their way. It seems here, just based off of both Mike, Alex and Jack's quotes, that they would have made a sixth and seventh season if Paramount didn't step in and say no. Now, there's, I'm not sure on contract rules with streaming services or shows, but I've heard in the past that five seasons seem to be like this point where going past five seasons, they have to pay more or there needs to be more contracts or it's just not as as financially viable to continue a show past five seasons anymore. I've heard that for three seasons as well, like that the reason why like shows like Daredevil and stuff like that ended with season three were because contracts and cast and crew and stuff like that just gets more expensive once you go past three seasons. And it sounds like it's a similar for five seasons where you have a, have another thing where things get more expensive to make. But I don't know, it just it is a little worrying for the future of Star Trek because this means that on TV anyway, Strange New Worlds is going to be the only running show from this fall onwards like we have starfleet academy coming but that's still a year and a half away so it's kind of a big change from like 2023 where we had four seasons of star trek in 2023 we had strange new world season two we had the back half of prodigy season one we had picard season three and we had lower deck season four like that was a lot of star trek and then this year we're gonna have discovery season five and we're gonna have lower deck season five but then next year stranger world season three is all we're gonna have like that's a pretty big change now this kind of comes at the same time that paramount is making a huge jump into movies we got confirmed yesterday at cinemacon or i guess two days ago by the time this video goes up we got confirmed that they're officially calling the new Star Trek film like Star Trek Origins. It isn't the official name, but they're not just calling it prequel film or beginning film anymore. They're now calling it Star Trek Origins and it's aiming for a 2025 release date. Go check out my Star Trek movie breakdown of all the upcoming movies if you want to know more about that. But it seems like we're going to have Section 31 this year, Star Trek Origins next year, the final Kelvin film in 2026, potentially a film from the Discovery writers in 2027, and then maybe after that, like the Section 31 follow-up or a Picard sequel movie, something like that. So it feels like Paramount is really sort of moving ahead with films because maybe movies, Paramount Plus streaming movies, are just more viable and more financially successful at the moment than Star Trek TV shows. And we also know Paramount is just struggling in general. They're desperately trying to sell to somewhere else they're desperately trying to merge with something else, similar to what Warner Bros. is doing with Discovery at the moment. So it feels like Paramount are kind of broke and maybe just Star Trek isn't bringing in the money they need at the moment to really justify having four or five TV shows running at once. Now that said, Starfleet Academy supposedly has the biggest Star Trek set from any Star Trek show in existence, which is insane. Like that show seems like it's going to be pretty expensive. So I'm surprised they're going with that with, and not Lower Decks, which while I'm sure Lower Decks is still pricey, it's, it's an animated show that shouldn't, I would think cost as much as a live action show that's building the biggest set of all time. So this could speak to the fact that maybe just going past a certain amount of seasons doesn't work for Paramount or doesn't kind of factor into what they're going forward with. I would really like to do a video talking about the state of Star Trek television going forward because I feel like Lower Decks ending with season 5 just like Discovery is with both Discovery and Lower Decks seeming like they weren't the the choice of the people who make the shows to end them and that it was actually Paramount's choice. The fact Strange New Worlds is going to be our only show for a little bit, that really does make you wonder what is going on. Like is this is this are we going to start getting announcements for other Trek shows to fill these gaps? Or are we looking at like Strange New Worlds also ending with season 5 potentially, then Starfleet Academy being the only show for a while, which we haven't seen anything about Starfleet Academy yet. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to watch it, of course. But a Starfleet Academy 32nd century show, I don't think that should be your only Star Trek show on. I think, like, Strange New Worlds, if it ends with season 5, it ends with season 5. But I think you should have, like, a 25th century show or something else, something similar to what Star Trek Legacy was going to be. I think you should have that alongside Starfleet Academy. Don't make Starfleet Academy your only show. But it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's all interesting. It's a lot going on. How do you feel about all this? Are you are you excited for Stranger Worlds Season 4? Are you sad Lord X is ending? What do you think about the fact that Star Trek shows now seem to just be ending pretty suddenly? Like, within the last year, we've gotten Prodigy, Discovery, and Lower Decks announcements that they're ending. Prodigy was cancelled last summer. I think Discovery Season 5 was announced at the final season not long after that. I know Lower Decks 
announced as ending with season five. So that's all within a year, which is pretty, pretty insane. So how do you feel about all that? Um, if you like this video, maybe consider liking it, sharing it to somebody you think might like it. Subscribing would be a huge help. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day.